Hey guys, what's up? This is Scooter here at Macintosh Tips. Today I have a great application to show you. It's an enhancement in your menu bar, and it kind of helps if your main browser is Safari. Now, Safari is very great. Let me show you. Uh, it has top sites, obviously, Safari 4 anyway. It has top sites, bookmarks, nice interface, fast. It has all the great things that you want, but for me, I'd like to have a better search engine in Safari. For example, the search engine over here is great. It searches Google, which is pretty much my main search engine, right? But sometimes I want to search people on Facebook, and I want to search uh, things on YouTube and Flickr and things like that, and you can't add those things in Safari. And if there is a way, it's really hard. You have to mess with Terminal, and I'd just rather not do that. I'd rather just have something that I can do that quickly and easily with, and with Monocle, I can show you that right now. So, for example, again, uh, Macintosh Tips, if I search uh, Macintosh Tips in Safari, it's only going to show me Google results, which is not bad, don't get me wrong, but at the same time, I'd love to have other options and variety. So if I go over here to my menu bar, guys, I'm just going to show you Monocle. It's located here. Now, one of the great things I like about this application, it's small, lightweight, and it doesn't take up room. Now, I've seen other apps that are just like this. Apple Soldier just had one in his video, a uh, link to Apple Soldier in the sidebar, but his video and it showcase, and he was talking about this app that did the same thing Monocle does but the thing about this app was it was big and it was in the menu bar and that's one thing I didn't like about it but this is a free version here and it's great it's small lightweight and very indiscreet um, so basically on the left side I can change Google Wikipedia Bing Yahoo and YouTube all come default uh, when you download the application you can easily download more I'll show you how to do that here in a second in the middle basically is where I search so if I saw your friend is over and he says hey man check out Charlie bit my finger and you're doing something on the internet right now so you don't want to want to change from that page so you just go here Charlie bit my finger boom there it is click it search it from YouTube there we go now we can play the hilarious video video Charlie bit my finger so it's very simple very easy and fast that's one of the great things as well on the right side you'll see a drop down arrow which basically shows uh, the, all the basic preferences and things like that. Now I have this checked on startup. You don't have to have it checked on startup. There's actually an application icon you can put in your dock so every time you want to use it, just click it and it'll pop up. But I have it on startup. So let's go ahead and go ahead into the preferences here and boom, we're here with searches. So searching is very simple. Um, basically all I have, you can have the query suggestions and search results. People don't know the differences between these. Notice when I search Charlie bit my finger, it's coming up with suggestions. Things that will help me, that will want me to, you know, it kind of suggests when I'm searching. And then the, the results are actually actual websites that come up when you search Charlie. So there are two different things here, and you can change those. If you'd like to see the search results first, just drag it up, and you can do just like that. Very simple, very easy. But I like the suggestions better. So um, now you can switch between search engines easily by hitting the up and down arrows or the command up and down. Uh, arrow. So, for example, uh, I'm on uh, the YouTube here, as you see. But now, if I hit the up arrow a couple of times, I'm on Yahoo, Bing, Wikipedia, Google, and I'm going through them just like that. So, very easy to navigate. And then, basically, I hit enter when I want to search. Uh, the general, basically, um, I, you don't have to worry about call words because I just showed you how to maneuver through the through the pages with the up arrows and down arrows. So, don't worry about call words. But if you like those, you can edit those yourself. Now the search bar color, this is kind of a customization thing. Basically, I, there's leopard, charcoal, selection. So leopard looks really nice and really sleek. But you can also customize it yourself by going to custom. The uh, color wheel pops up. Basically, I can pick whichever one I want to. So I'll go to red and I'll make it kind of like that. And then sheen just kind of gives it more of an effect on that as well. So you can have sheen on or sheen off, whichever one you like. But So I'll go with that red there, very nice, very popping. And then engines is basically how you add engines by basically going down here and adding your engine yourself. Very simple, very easy how to do that. So guys, this is the app Monocle. Uh, very short, very quick tutorial. So rate five stars, comment, rate, and subscribe. Do all that good stuff. Tell your friends about this because I know they probably get aggravated when they can only search Google. I know I was getting aggravated. And so comment below, tell me what you think about this. It's a free application. All you have to do is go here to the Monocle website, which will be in the description, and you just hit download, very simple download, 
Very quick, very easy. Oh, and one more thing, guys. I want to give a shout out to YouTube.com slash Last Stop Reviews. I've been talking to him back and forth. He's a great up and coming YouTuber. I wouldn't say up and coming. I mean, he's he's been out here for a while, and he's just got to get his stuff recognized. And he can be really big on this YouTube thing. He's really good at what he does. He does product reviews, technology reviews. So if you guys want to get another opinion, just some of the regular guys that you see here on YouTube, definitely check him out. He has giveaways and things like that that might entice you to subscribe and rate and comment his videos. Um, so last stop reviews. He's actually sending us a uh, a product to review that he had, and he sold his MacBook, I think. And so he's giving it to us for free, which is very nice. Uh, so I'm shouting him out. Let him give him some support. Guys, check him out. At least comment on his channel. Do something. Um, let him know that he has some good videos. So this is Scooter Macintosh Tips, and I'm going to cut it off right here.